Loria comes to me by way of Eric from LoriaGame.com. So this is a key provided by the developer. I've been streaming this now for a couple of days uh, on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash akmikeb, if you're not familiar. And uh, so far I am really into it. Now, first off, it is 100% a Warcraft 2 uh, like, okay? You can say clone, because it kind of is, uh, but it has Warcraft 3 elements in it. You have heroes that have, uh, that actually scale a level. They have items they can pick up. Uh, they have abilities and stats that you can actually progress, just like, like, like a hero character would have. Uh, and then of course you have all the traditional Warcraft 2 units, style of units. You have air units, ground units. You do not have, though, uh, uh you do not have any water-based units. There's no, like, you know, no, no, uh, no boats or, or anything like that, like you used to have in, uh, in, in was it Tides of Darkness? I think it was Tides of Darkness. I mean, Tides in the name, so you would assume so. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> and then Beyond Dark Portal obviously went, like, further than that. So anyways, uh, now I'm, I am somebody who, uh, in my, in my RTS Prime, I was playing... Warcraft 2. Warcraft 3, I did not play that much. Uh, very little, as a matter of fact. I watched a whole lot more than I actually played, which is pretty much just watching all the cutscenes stitched together into a movie, which is kind of how I got the story out of it. Uh, but Warcraft 2, I played to death. I played Warcraft 1 more than Warcraft 3, okay? That's where I'm at on this. So, so I feel like, and every reviewer is going to tell you this, I feel like I'm kind of a subject matter expert on this because I did almost nothing but play Warcraft 2. When I was in, uh, when I was in, what was that, middle school or something like that? High school? I don't even know. I have no idea. When I, when I was, when I was young, it was a long fucking time ago. Now, this game is very much that, uh, but kind of remastered, right? I say kind of remastered because it does look a lot like Warcraft 2, but if you actually go back and look at, look at Warcraft 2's graphics, you're going to see a lot of, diff a lot of differences here, uh, in the fidelity. This is very much like, like StarCraft 1 remaster, where they took those old pixelated gra uh, graphics, uh, and the 4x3, and they made it 16x9, and gave it updated graphics and all that good stuff. It's kind of like that. They kind of smoothed it out. They didn't really update the units and make them look crazy. They just kind of smoothed all the graphics out. So the things in your mind that you remember looking at, it's like, oh yeah, I remember, I remember what the character looks like. I remember, I remember what the character looks like. Reality is that you, uh, that, that you're kind of filling in the blanks, right, in your head. Uh, when you go back and look, they're pretty pixelated and they kind of look like shit. <laughs> so, uh, what I'm going to do today is I don't actually know how I'm going to, uh, going to, going to, uh, show you guys everything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a skirmish. Uh, we're going to go over a couple things first so you kind of get an idea of what the, uh, uh what the, uh, player campaigns and all this stuff has. Uh, but as you can see right now, I am almost eight eight into the eight missions into the uh the first campaign now uh according to the email i got that it says the play time it says there's six 16 missions and there are eight per race so i have eight missions per race i'm actually one mission away from completing uh this the the order campaign order is basically alliance chaos is the horde uh chaos is uh, is locked for now i guess i unlock it after i complete uh, order um we have a difficulty here, easy, normal, and hard. I'll tell you right now that because of the way the AI is tuned, that normal is actually pretty difficult. Easy is almost too, not too easy, but easy is much easier than normal. I was worried that easy was not going to be that hard, or sorry, that uh, uh, that much easier than normal when normal was kicking my ass pretty pretty regularly. Now I'm not I'm not the best RTS player by any stretch. You know I'm not a kid anymore, so <laughs> so I I don't quite have the APM that everybody else has. But uh, but I watch a lot. I watch a lot. So I have a good understanding of general stuff, uh, and I've been playing this game for about nine hours. You know for over the past uh, couple days, so I, I'm pretty pretty well versed. In the game's mechanics and all that stuff and you know lots lots of refreshers uh, from when i was younger uh now you have your 16 missions eight per which is half as much as warcraft 2 some of the reviews are pretty silly uh they're like oh there's not enough content to justify the price it's like really because warcraft 2 was 30 bucks uh <laughs> and this game is, is what 18.99 and it has half the missions so but it does not have multiplayer i should have brought that up at the very beginning because that's a big turn off for a lot of people it doesn't have multiplayer the developer said they're going to put it in if there's enough of a demand for it and by demand they mean enough sales now personally now i didn't buy the game but if somebody showed this to me, it would have been an insta buy. Of course, of course it would have been. It's Warcraft 2. Fuck yeah. You know, they, Warcraft 3 remaster, reforged, whatever. That looks awesome. I didn't play Warcraft 3. I don't really care. I was hoping for a Warcraft 2 remaster. It's never going to happen. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set myself up to, uh, for failure here. Uh, we're going to go to a map that has uh, four players because if I go to this, I'm definitely going to die. Uh, we'll go uh, here. I could expand. You get the map. This is all the same, the usual stuff you typically get. If you watch any like StarCraft, uh, 
uh, esports or anything like that. They you know, get the map at the beginning, kind of plan things out. Um, uh, and I'll go ahead and uh, go AI. Here's what I'll do, actually. I'm going to try to hook myself up just a little bit. Everyone's going to be AI. Uh, we'll have two order and we'll have come some chaos. So I'm going to play as order and chaos. I'm going to put this guy on my team. That way I'm not <laughs> I'm totally OTFing. And uh, let's see. I start off as what? And so blue. Okay, I'm going to be down there. Hmm. Hold on a second. Team one, team one. I guess it's good. The place is gonna be actually random. So, uh, easy, 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 easy. Cool. Let's do that. More maps are coming soon. So yeah, it's stuff that they have planned. Actually, I have uh, after release, our main focus is gonna be new skirmish maps and improving upon skirmish, skirmish experience. More units, uh, neutral units mostly creeps, which I think is kind of a waste of time. Uh, I don't really care if there are sheep on the map, but whatever. Um, better graphical effects also don't really feel like a. Excuse me, I don't feel like it's necessary because it, what, are, what are you going to improve on? Like all the all the sprites and everything are there. I don't really feel like it needs anything else. Uh, and better environmental art. Also, don't care. So, I mean, if they want to improve on that stuff, they feel like it's necessary, then that's great. But I feel like they've nailed the aesthetic that they're going for, which is Warcraft 2. Look at this. Holy crap. What? Yes, my lord. They even have the, if you keep on clicking on somebody. Work again. Yes, my lord. What now? Work again. Yes, my lord. Work again. Okay, it's not gonna do it probably because it's clicking on a whole bunch of things here. But if I had a hero unit, it'll do it. Who's it? What no? Yes, my lord. Work again. Come on. What? what? Oh, I don't know that. There you go. It's because I was double clicking. Stop bothering me. You can't fight me. I'm in the union. <laughs> what? So Did yeah. You kill me. It's, a, it's the same thing as Warcraft 2 in that respect. Uh, I see where my setup here, and green is down there. So we have somebody probably... No, no, the other people are here and here. Okay, cool. Cool, that means I can expand off to the uh, the northeast corner there. Uh, and I should be totally fine. I mean, I should go ahead and uh, do that now. I'll get a scout going and get that ready. So, the things that still that exist in this game that were also Warcraft 2, in terms of, like, movement, groups, and all that stuff, uh, you can make groups, I should say that. So first off, we're gonna make this control one, so one group. So as I'm over here, I can double-click one, boom, we're back here, okay? I can make any one of these characters, uh, also an another, uh, control group if I wanted to. It just all it is is a control group, so as I move people around, so if I go over here, so yeah, you go over here, and I go one, two, right? Because he's group two, okay? So if you never, this is for people who've never played an RTS, okay? I know a lot of you guys are like, really, it's like basic shit. But you want to know if it's in here. You want to know if it's in here. Like, for example, pathing. You want to know if that's in there, right? Whoops, who did I, who did I click to do that? You. Oh, he's going to go all the way over there first and then do that. Hold on, come oh, here. We no. got to demonstrate this stuff here, buddy. Come on. Huh? Huh? Uh, huh? Okay. Huh? See? Totally works. And he's going to go and he's going to do all that stuff. But we don't have time for that shit right now. Okay. Let's go. Now... I, I encourage you to stay until the end because the game it is it is gonna get pretty oh no fuck problem. I forgot that they put guards on here no did I really oh, mess this oh, up I... please tell me they don't oh I should chase me all, all the way through no they don't do they okay break it off break it off good 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 I oh, forgot boy. that they actually put guards up there so we're gonna have to actually uh, let's fast track a couple things here we'll do this oh, I'm gonna do another one another thing you could chain together builds so I just built I said build this one then when you're done build this one easy easy peasy right now I should do this too. Lumber, so I should get some lumber up. Oh, lumber, put that lumber up here. No problem. And then uh, let's see, build me a smith. So smith, we'll put the smith up. Uh, well, actually, smith's basically fodder, so I'll put that down here. Once you get the upgrades and oh, everything, cool. it kind of doesn't really mean anything. So there you go, cool. So that guy's gonna be busy for a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and actually make a couple more of these guys, put them in here. Uh, another one from over here, and actually, uh, uh, oh, sorry, I can't do that. I can't chain, I can't actually chain together in order. I have to wait for the first one to finish here. And actually, the first one I get out, I'm actually gonna have them go through and make uh, us some, uh, some housing. Housing is farms. It's basically your supply and all that good stuff. So, we'll wait for this gentleman to get finished here. And then the next one, go over there, get another one building here. Let's see. All right, so build houses, houses, houses. I should come over here and explore. Let's see what we got here. Okay. We don't want to build too close to the the, the tree line here because they will get, they will get stuck. So by holding on shift, I can go ahead and build a stack of these things. There we go. We'll let them go for a little bit. This is gonna take a while. Obviously, this is the uh, this is the most boring part of about watching RTS um, uh, RTS like esports is that you always have like that initial like five minutes or so where you're not quite sure what they're gonna do. And by the end of that five minutes, you kind of, you pretty much know where they're going to go with it. And then that's when things start to pick up. And so in my case, because I'm not a professional esports player, uh, it is going to take probably 10 minutes for you to really see what my strategy is going to be. Ready. Which is going to be, uh, hopefully not, uh, not die, <laughs> not die too soon. All right, let's go ahead and get, uh, we got to set a rally point for the building. The rap once that's done, I set a rally point for that one as well. And we're going to go ahead and build myself some swordsmen. I have just basically pure cash for swordsmen. So I'm going to build a bunch of them just to kind of make sure that I have, uh, a good starting army. 
Building complete. There we go. So it's another rally point for this one. And actually what we do is toggle out that. Why build two of them if you can't build them twice as fast? So there we go. Got gold coming in at a decent rate. Your maximum is got your maximum at. You'll know when you reach the maximum limit to the uh, the throughput of the uh, of of the, your uh, gold mine when you have dudes ready. standing outside. So if a guy is standing outside for too long, then you know you know it's probably you're probably wasting resources. You could use them somewhere else. Um, let me see. This guy's gonna be done with this one. I'm starting to move him somewhere else. This guy's building houses like a beast. Look at this, so many things already. And right now we're basically just get work on getting money and money. Get the money, 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 money. This is going to be after the lumber mill here. Lumber mill is going to be used to uh, to actually uh, uh, bolster the um, or upgrade my uh, archers and all that, which I don't have any of. So we'll wait on that. And we'll get the we'll get the little archers going. Some of the biggest the biggest things with RTS is that you never really think are a big deal, especially if you don't play a lot of RTSs. Is is is, is your upgrades? Your unit upgrades are so fucking important. And I don't I don't always do it. Huh. I don't always do it as uh, as quickly as I should. Uh, it's you know teching up basically. Let me go and build that blacksmith. Let's see. Uh, come on. Yes, we going. These, yeah, these like simple. It's like, oh yeah, upgrades damage inflicted by bows. It's like, well, that just means that if you are one to one with a whole bunch of other archers, then you're gonna win the fight, right? By a lot, actually, because the more people you have, the more arrows you have flying, all that good stuff. So, um, so yeah, you you want you want to stay on top of your. Uh, oh damn, gold. Come on, gold. Come on, gold. That's why I want to take that other point as quickly as possible so I get some gold coming in, get some good economy, be able to spend some good money. Plus, I'm spending it all on a bunch of stuff that I don't necessarily need right now. 19 out of 42, that last one might be a little bit over. Whoa. We'll... Yeah, we're we'll going to eat it out. There we go. It's free money. Free money. All right, so there we go. Let's go and get another one of these guys out. Just basically have them just chop some wood. Lumber mills might be done. We'll get the next brand. Oh, I can't do it because I need to keep. That's right. Okay, well, Smith's going to be done though. We'll be able to do some stuff with that. After this, we're going to spend some money. Now we have uh, some lumber build up. We're going to spend some money on uh, some archers. Let's get a little a good group of archers going. Then we're going to go and take those out to harass the uh, the group of my expansion over to the northeast. Uh, or to the east of my position. So I'll go ahead and have this guy do that. And we'll go ahead and do this. And queue up that. If I don't spend all my money on lumber on uh, on upgrades first. <laughs> Just need tier 1 upgrades. I don't need anything crazy. Just tier 1 upgrades is totally fine. Now, those of you guys who play a lot of Warcraft 2, you guys are probably already just like, holy crap, this game is totally Warcraft 2. Uh, and you're right. <laughs> There's no question. There's no question. Uh, I feel right at home in the game. It took me a while to kind of get my, uh, my RTS legs back-ish, right? Uh, but uh, I do feel right at home with uh, uh, with this game. Why are you not doing anything? He's an idle peon right down here. Again, same thing as uh, StarCraft Warcraft. This guy here, also not chopping. 10, 10. We got good, we got a good amount of stuff coming in. Uh oh. So my dudes are marching in. This is how they would basically alert me if it was multiplayer. It's gonna say he's gonna go here, basically. Uh, this existed. It existed in. Uh, uh, if you ever play Battle.net, uh, or it's just online in general with uh, Warcraft 2, you could ping the map and the other player, your teammate, can see it. And so that's how you basically coordinate. And also chat too. You say, "Oh, I'm gonna go take a spot, or whatever," and you ping the ping the map, and they'll be able to see it. These mechanics carried over into uh, League of Legends and, and all that stuff through Dota. Uh, yeah, the the evolution of RTS to MOBAs, right? Let's see. All right, so Ranger, 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 Ranger. Oh, that's was 180, 190. Sorry, 190. Get the lumber in. Yeah, these guys are gonna just clean that up. He's got a hero unit already, which is actually pretty important. I should probably build one of those. This guy right here. You're not doing anything right this second. Build me an altar. No. What do you need? Gold. You have enough now. And we'll build it uh, right here in the way. Perfect. <clears throat> Basically, it's the hero's altar. This is what it's, it's, I don't remember what it's called in Warcraft 3, but it's essentially where you go into uh, uh, to train or summon your heroes. And you have uh, three hero units to deal with. One is a like ranged, like, bow, like a bowyer, an like archer. Uh, one is a paladin. Uh, the other one is uh, more of like a warlock mage kind of mix. So it's more like a uh, kind of like a warlock, yeah. Because you have like a summon, uh, not a summon, but you have a uh, like an imprison spell. You, you have ready. which is kind of death mighty actually, but it's pretty much yeah. You have AOE like death coil kind of, but it's not death coil. I bet the uh, chaos side they have a bit of a, more of a, a death coil type ability on uh, one of their hero units or one of their units. So. So yeah, obviously it varies between uh, between uh, uh, either one. So we'll have to just wait and see. Uh, let's see. Come on, come on. Oh, actually, wait. Hold on. Let's cancel one of these. Put it here, and then we'll spend the rest of the money on 
our hero. Now our hero has some pretty cool abilities. Let's see. Uh, oh, which one do I take though? We'll take uh, Garrod. Oh, this got a different name. In the uh, in the uh, was it named Dolt? Dolt? I keep forgetting his fucking name. I keep calling him. Uh, okay. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so we will get this guy out. He's got a. Uh, he's actually got like a. a um, Heroism slash bloodlust ability that he could hit that basically up upwards of like 15 or 20 percent uh, its speed increase and everything. And once you pop that, you're basically just sort of raking through everybody. It's awesome. Uh, let's see, I can actually get some knights going. Where are you going all the way over there for? Now I could choose to roll with them if I wanted to, but I'm I'm more focused on expanding right now. Yeah, this guy's standing out here. She's just put get, get, log put that logs away. There we go. Just keep getting logs. It's fine. Let me see. Once I get that hero out, uh, let's see. What do I need for this? Oh, a keep. Hmm. God, it opens the door to so many things. But money. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> we got a couple of knights. This is basically just a hang back. They're not really going to come with us. Uh, I am going to make two more rangers, though. Two more rangers. There we go. So, yeah, this guy's got an ability. You guys should go through and put his abilities in. This is similar to Warcraft 3. Uh, in my case, I'm going to go with Battle Shout. 10% movement speed, uh, tier 3, uh, tier 2, 50%, 20%. Alright, so you get these as the character levels up. You have item slots right here. He's the only person that can open... Uh, hit, the hero units are the only ones that can pick up and hold anything because they're the only ones that have inventory. Uh, let me see. I'm actually going to... Yeah, they're going to... Wow, my, my, my teammate's going oh, ham. By the way, just as an example, you can ready. see like the expansion... Uh, uh, Speed. This guy's already got mage towers, all kinds of stuff. I, I probably could have actually gotten this if I didn't spend so much money on a couple things, but but uh, the AI definitely moves crazy fast. Look at this guy. Like they move stupidly fast. Like I don't think I don't think that the developer has throttled them for uh, you know to compensate for humans <laughs> for human input. So yeah, it's uh, it's pretty rough. Let me see. They were good. We got a lot of money coming in. Let's go ahead and actually. Uh, uh, let me see, this is increased attack speed of barracks units, we're going to do that, and then we're going to go ahead and go one, two, and then have those guys basically go on. We're not going to hang out, wait for that, we're just going to move out. And we'll leave those two guys, actually. This should be enough to do, this is definitely going to be enough to deal with those guys. Uh, and I'm going to bring some friends. So, let's go and park these guys over here. Where are they at, like right over here somewhere? Yeah, they was getting punked like right over here somewhere. We can uh, shift so click, oh, double click on this guy, yeah, and it'll select just those peons there. So get this guy out here, get a, he can generate some rage. And once he generates rage, he can activate his ability. So let's go over here and get him generating some rage, you can see how this functions. <clears throat> These are swinging on dudes, everyone's gonna run in to help. You can hold this, get this guy on uh, target here, hit it, boom, and everybody's lusted. We can basically pull him out, out of the way here. And then they're gonna wipe everything, double click on these guys, bring them over. Like this is a, this is obviously a white for those guys. So, and we have enemies back at the base. Let's go and get these guys back. We'll leave uh, this guy here, Leoric. That's why I kept calling him. <laughs> okay, let's get this here. Good. What I get? I got a ring that gave me stamina, dexterity. All right, so build time. Boop. I have this guy help him, and then we're gonna go back over here. So yeah, this is a big ass beast right here. This uh, Garrosh guy. Totally not Garrosh guy. Let's actually mark this guy out of the way here. You, you, you need to get all oh, good. He dinged, so you got some health back. Even your individual characters get levels. Something that uh, did not exist in uh, Warcraft 2. Good, 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 good. Okay, now the next thing I need to get up now is. Now I have a ton of money. Uh, oh, no, never mind. I had tons of money. <laughs> Yes, my, my solo guy over here helping him. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, you can stand right there, it's fine. And then you go, let's go ahead and do this, turn this in. Nope, go in here. And just start mining that. I just want the gold. Let's see. Uh, it's probably one too many, actually. Four should be sufficient from this distance. Obviously, the distance matters because of travel time and all that stuff. Four is going to be just just on the tad bit side of being a little bit too, like one too many. Like, it's like 0.5 too many. Let's go ahead and uh, get some sort of repairs going over here. I'm going to do on lumber. I mean, kind of like, uh, let me do this. We get another guy here. Do my bidding. And actually, this guy right here. You're done. You're done, buddy. Let's build a mage tower. This guy's going to come out. He's going to do some repairs. 
I'm going to build a couple houses to get that, um, get my supply count up a little bit more. Gold is coming in very quickly, which is awesome. There it is. We'll go uh, one, two, three. As soon as he's done repairing that, he'll go do that. So once we get a mage tower up, we can actually make a cleric. Cleric coming here to heal everybody up. We're kind of playing a safe game here. No, what's this over here? Yeah, they're done. Let's see, should I get another hero out? Yeah, let's get this guy. So this guy, this guy, uh, how, how, how real the, how real the wise boy. Uh, he is the one that has, um, he's a magical hero, excelling in a disruption of any army. Uh, so yeah, he does have an AoE, like, explosion, um, that he could do. And he does this pretty good amount of damage. But once you get him leveled up all the way and he has his ult, that thing's crazy. It's, it's basically Death Coil. Does 65 damage in a huge area, so you get a good group of guys together, you could just do just such uh, stupid amounts of damage. Uh, let's see, okay, you're gonna repairing, good, okay, okay, we're going to build a construction area here. There we go, get some clerics out. Let's get like a few clerics out, let's get like a few clerics out, we'll park them over here. Uh, let's go ahead and research cleanse. Uh, maybe we'll go ahead and kill a couple mages if I can. Come on, mages have turrets they could put down, little wards. One. Hello, troops are under attack. Yeah, that's probably going to be your problem, though. Okay, cleric's coming in. Can't build because I don't have the resources. I have wood! Wood! Uh, okay. Let's go back to building wood stuff. Building wood. Gathering. Logging. Chopping. Whacking. So I only have the resources to build all this. Once you actually queue it up, then you already have the resources spent. So if I were to like cancel something like this guy right here, you get the resources back. So if you if you feel like you're you're stretching yourself a little bit too thin too early on, you could cancel a bunch of things in the queue and uh, and get those things uh, you know handled. So this guy, let me show you. This is Hammer the Hammer the Wise, whatever. Uh, so we're gonna go for this is the Void Light. This is the uh, Death Coil that I told you about. Uh, AOE damage over time, and this is the Void Explosion, and then he has Void Prison, which is just basically in prison. You just basically cast it on somebody, and they're stuck for a handful of seconds. Eight seconds, it says, and it does a little bit of damage. Uh, this one converts health, uh, healthy, health unit, health of unit to mana. Uh, it's life tap, right? That's why I said he's a warlock. There we go. I mean, he's supposed to be a good guy, you know, he's a Lord or whatever. Let me see. Uh, he's gonna be four. And uh, we'll get these guys all on. Good. Oh, you're the, yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? Not doing nothing. Get over there, doing nothing. Here's where you can get ballistas, all that stuff. Actually, why don't you build me an aviary? That's what we should do. We should rush aviary. We should get a ton of griffins. Oh, that would be sexy. That would be sexy. You know what? Let's do that. Let's. Uh, we have tons of gold and tons of this. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's get a couple rangers out. About five rangers. Uh, we'll set these guys up over here, Hello, troops are under separate from everything. We're not being attacked by anybody right just yet. This is gonna be a long ending for breakfast, by the way. So if you're, let listen, you already know if you like the game. At this point, we're pretty much just kind of going with it. You'll learn probably a couple more things if you've never seen me, if you haven't seen me play the game on stream. Uh, you may learn a couple things, but otherwise, Hello, we're basically just going. We're just, we're just kind of playing for fun <laughs> just playing for fun because i'm enjoying it. i love it i fucking love it it's funny because like i see reviews like here let me let me let me show you guys here uh i see reviews like this guy here right and it says i don't normally review games here it goes he gave it a down a down vote and i was just like oh wow we didn't really like it you know and it's and basically like he goes he said, it doesn't help matters that the game's campaign is pretty short 16 missions in total and at least to me that was pretty un uh, me it was pretty uninteresting Really? With 1.5 hours on record, dude. Really? You got that's you you came to that conclusion with that? Let me tell you, I it, it, I'm like eight hours in, right? Nine hours in. I still have one more mission to go. I still have one more mission to go. Uh, and I'm getting my ass kicked. If you watch the stream, you'll see. Like, like the AI doesn't fuck around sometimes. Sometimes you get lucky on the you know, you get the drop on them and you try to rush something and you get you know, you you, you can do pretty well, right? But there's so much trial and error when you're playing on normal, and then hard, I can't even imagine. Oh my god. Hard must be a fucking nightmare. So yeah, like, I understand everyone's, you guys are entitled to your opinion and everything, I get it. Yeah, you don't like the game, you don't like the game, that's fine. Uh, but you can't say you don't, you, the, the campaign is uninteresting and short if you haven't played the campaign. 
Oh man, Steam reviews. Come on. They're marching the battle. Oh shit, they're going right there? Oh, that means there's uh, there's somebody right there. Hmm. That might be a problem because if they go over there and they aggro somebody, they might actually, uh, and they lose the fight, they might actually come back. So I'm gonna send uh, Leoric over there to, uh, to provide a little bit of support. Let me see. Let me actually go ahead and get a couple more peasants out here chopping wood on this side. Maybe over here on this side, actually, a little better. All right, let's get Speak. my dude out here. I believe that we can probably share my uh, uh, my bloodlust. My lust for blood. Where's the? Uh... Where are they going? Where y'all going? Peasant is ready. Move. All right. Well, well the AI it's probably just not smart. Oh, oh, okay. We're going this way. All right, cool. I was gonna say I thought that's where they were going. I got you, dudes. Oh way. man, these four guys. Oh, just, oh, just terrible. Get, get over there. Leor, get some swings. There we go. Uh, yeah. Oh man. Oh, there's a chest right here. Loot. See it. Very good. We got, we got what we needed. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We got some, uh, some birds. Perfect. Uh, what was the key for that? Q, Q. Q, 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 Q. They already got it. Cool. Got some more birds coming. Yes, we do. About one more. Not enough food. Not enough food. Oh, dang it. It's right. Need more houses. Why do I keep running out of houses? Gold. I'm good on gold. Let's grab one of these yes, dudes. We're going to pull them over here. Build house here. Kind of risking it. Might get trapped back there if I'm not careful. Uh, good one here. No, it'll get trapped. We'll just put some houses out here. This will be uh, fodder. Allies fodder houses. Basically. Yes, when we start getting attacked. Now your maximum supply is tw is 120. Just so you guys know. No problem. There we go. That should be pretty good for water there. Uh, one of these guys does not have. Oh, this one actually. What is the second one for? Dismount Ranger. Oh, okay. And we have one more coming. I want one more after that. Building complete. This guy's gonna be busy for a little while. You'll see the maximum supply go up to 120. That they're at. What are they? Like, six each, I think. What are they? Uh. uh Building armor if I just slash attack. Oh shit, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I have one more here I can make actually. Nope. Requires tier three. Oh, I don't have tier three. But I will in a minute. Now this guy can make ballistas and everything. Uh, I'm gonna actually uh, uh, crank it up a little bit here first. Why can't I make a castle? Okay, yeah, gunships. That's gonna be kind of fun. Maybe we'll just make a, do like an air raid on somebody. That would be awesome. The next time my guys go in for an attack, what is happening over here? What the hell are these guys doing? Just taking refuge? I guess so. As long as I get in my way. I wonder if they're eyeballing this, they're like, hmm, I wonder if we can borrow some of this, uh... <laughs> Let's see... Oops. Let's go get one. There go. Oh, they are, oh, they are gonna march into battle over here, okay. I mean, I guess we'll go, we'll go hang out with them for a little bit. More bills and stuff, we don't, have any, we don't have anything else going on right now. Oh, that's a big dude! Granite Golem. Golem. Actually, we'll focus on these guys here. Now he generates rage. So I, I, I said he was a paladin. Uh, he kind of and kind of isn't. Uh, actually, no, he kind of isn't. He's a, he's a freaking warrior. What was his other abilities? He's got his battle shout. He's got a couple other abilities. I swear one of them was like a a mitigation one. Oh no, it was not. No, it's basically yeah, it's an arms warrior. Yeah, it's like an arms warrior, pretty much. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah, he's got a. a He's got cleave. He's got um, uh, he's got like a stun, I think, like a periodic stun. So this is more like a vanilla uh, arms warrior, uh, and then he has battle shout and all that good stuff. So he has basic arms warrior. Sorry, I said paladin at the beginning. I, th I think because I was just thinking like you know the earthers and all that stuff, whatever. Um, let's see. This guy needs this. Whoop. Then we're gonna go. Shaw 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 pio Okay, so we got a good army going. You, need my you should be actually Building this. Uh, let's see. Mm. Speak. Yes. Okay, got the key. Let's see. I'm gonna speed things up a little bit here. Get the upgrades going. Go upgrade this. Give me more HP per. That was more HP uh, for your animals. Uh, let's see. We go get this guy going. I don't know what he does. We're gonna park him right here for later. Let's see. We get a couple knights out. Let's go ahead and get these guys uh, over here. Let's get a good army going, man. This is gonna be great. Got we max out supply now. We're one away from maxing out supply. Where's my one lonely peon? I guess where'd he go? Did he just go back to work? I guess he went back to work. Nope. Never mind. Just finished. <laughs> Perfect timing. There we go. All right. So for you, sir, you're gonna build one more house. 
And then your work is complete. Research Build house. Complete. Bam. And then just go do whatever. Uh, and then we're going to start chaining out ballistas. And that's what we're going to be using. That's going to be our, uh, uh, our the how we basically handle all of the... Uh, um, God damn. The sieging the towers. Because the towers are a huge bitch. But you get a couple of these, uh, of these ballistas all lined up and you basically start wrecking these things uh i am like like just sitting on tons of gold like what i, mean, I just i should just like what's the my supply though mm, my supply doesn't really say i should spend all of it let's do this then actually i should do this and then click there we go now they're both the same uh let's see both of them make me some of those there we go we got like two each so four of them uh, five and six. That's going to eat up all of our supply. So let's go ahead and take these guys for a spin. We're going to go and do a little bit of, uh, we're going to actually plot. I'm going to plot a couple points here. Just kind of see what they do. So we'll get back to them in a minute. These guys will kind of get some better positioning here for them. It's going to be some support for them. You come over here, hack this. See, come on. You can probably take this guy out pretty easily. Good. Good. Let's move these guys back. <clears throat> Do a little bit of a uh, change in. Uh... Come on, come on. Good. They said allies are marching to battle, and they went to my. <laughs> They're going to my base for some reason. Yeah, my teammate is not smart, which is actually pretty accurate, actually, for uh, <laughs> for really thinking about this from a multiplayer perspective. Teammates are always dumb. Some chest over here. Oh, cool. A little bit of harassment. There we go. Find all these guys down here. They'll, they'll spread out and take care of the rest. Okay, we have a tower to deal with, actually. Uh, we have some uh, mutas. <laughs> they're not They're not mutas. Uh, I've been calling them mutas because for the first thing I think when I see an air unit that looks like this, they can mute us. This is a, a manacore, actually. So this is actually the, um, more like a gunship, I think. It's a little higher. Oh, shit. Basically a higher damage output. Um, flying unit. This guy's rage building up as we attack him here. This is good that they just stand here, though. I know that I'm getting attacked by by this guy, but this guy right here could really fuck my shit up, so. Okay, let's go back. Bring him back here. They'll get, they'll get some heals when we get over here. These clerics will hook him up. But we are short now, a few of them, so let's go ahead and get a couple more. Uh, what is it, H? Okay, Hippogriff. Like, uh, five more? Sure, why not? And uh, to meet that, let's go ahead and... And let's go ahead and make ourselves a few more archers. So it should be, uh, what was it, six? Seven, no, no, no. Oh, so when you double click on it and you hit one, two, three, it actually queued them up. One, two, three. It didn't do one, two, three, one, two, three. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's see what this guy can do. I haven't Four used this guy yet. Bleeding arrow, sure. This guy's getting attacked. Let's go and bring our, uh, oh god, they're hurting. I did, I, I took a lot of damage there. Oh shit. Flew right over. He's like jungling over here. Red Demon, I don't forget anything for that. 900 HP. Holy crap. Alright, we'll fly him over here. Get some heals. The clerics should automatically... And you can turn it off, too. So I should go through and uh, if I right-click on it, I'll turn off that ability. This has also existed in, uh, in like, basically every RTS, really. They have abilities that can just trigger on their own, or you can uh, manually trigger them if you'd like. So let's go ahead and add these knights to this. So there we go. Now we have a pretty full party here. Still want to keep these guys separate. They're going to heal up while we wait for the birds to finish and come out of the aviary. Uh, let's see. I have two more slots, actually. Let's go ahead and get a couple of mages out here. A couple of mages out here to this out of this party here. And then that will basically complete that group. Cleric Mass. Our team's cleric to cast Blessing. Increased mana. Oh, wow. I have the money. Let's do it. Let's tech up. Oh, Jesus, I need to tech up this. Jesus. I need to stay on top of this stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see what we got. We got wood is actually the thing we're, we're lowest on. How are we on gold here? We're gonna run out of that very shortly. Hippogriff, good. Be wary. Let's see, where is my dude? He's still here, just chilling. Fine. Okay. You need ready. Can't upgrade that anymore. Let's see, got a couple more upgrades here we could do. This is uh, Hippogriff Ranger. Let's go ahead and uh, 
Yeah, yeah, let's get those guys up. I really like the I really like the flying units. I like them in Warcraft too as well. Like being able to basically fly in. I think it was a uh, it was like a dwarf. It was a dwarf actually on a um, on hippogriff is what it was. I think it was like a singular character maybe. I might be misremembering this, but uh, yeah, you basically just basically get this whole swarm of these guys and uh, or flock or herd or uh, murder and then just go and murder. It's awesome. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Pick up all the rangers. New ranger. There we go. We got six of them this time. Yeah, we're gonna upgrade them too. Lots of upgrades coming from the lumber mill here. <laughs> Oh yeah, lumber, man, lumber, lumber, not gold. I know, I know, I'm still farming gold. I get it. I, I know, I know, I know. But I want to empty that out, and when that's empty, which is gonna be very soon, then we'll switch gears. This one right here, which one at? That's gonna take forever. So we got, we should grab these guys and put them on uh, on duty. Here, yeah, drop that off. Drop that off real quick, and then come back. Of course. There you go. What we'll a cease the gold, gold uh, collection from this area here, just to. For that, let me see. They have one more here that does not have a partner. Oh, where's he gonna go get one from? No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. That'll mess up my my ranks over there. Ranger. And then we have one more mage here and a mage here. There we go. That is now a full fucking party. They're marching the battle on my freaking land. This guy's great support. Let's pull him over here. Let's see. Wait for this guy to come out. Supply I'm maxed out. Ooh, we might have an issue. Might have an issue. Uh, crap. Huh. Might have to break up that party over there. Or we just go spend some supply. It's gonna... It's gonna fail. No? No, where are you going? Oh, that's right. This is the one. This is my oddball here. So now I am definitely, uh, I'm supplied out here. So... We'll grab all these guys from the party. That Griffin to stay right there. And let's see, where did I fly them off to? These guys are moving just into the wrong freaking spot. I don't understand what the hell they're doing. Um, I wonder if, well, they're going over here to build, actually. Are they expanding over there? They sure are. So guess where I'm going to go? Bring out this mob over there, this huge ass group. Get this guy going over here, too. Orders. I can hear you. How does this guy come from above here? Death from above. Lined up. Let's get my hero out here to the front if I can. If they can move around the characters, can you get out of the way? Yes, they can. All right. I'll consider it. All right. So here we go. I'm actually not going to micro this because I don't necessarily need to. Basically, drop one of these on here. Bring this guy over here. This thing, yeah. There's nothing else here. So <laughs> this is a super wipe here. See you later. GG. Let's go and grab this item here. What is it? Let's see. It is a tunic. Oh, cool. Stamina, dexterity, and cutting. Awesome. We're not done, though. We just wanted to stop them from expanding. Oh, hey! He has, uh... He's not there. Oh, crap. Let's get her ability up. This, right here. Focus fire. Good. Focus fire on this hero here. That's Vand. She's a succubus. She can stun you. I thought she's, uh, like a demon hunter. She's basically, uh... Standing by. Hold on, let's get the heals going here. Sylvanas, essentially. Here's good. Oh, crap. Oh, I just stay out of this list. Don't, where you Thank going? Where you, you going, buddy? Where you going? Where you going? The AI can sometimes do dumb stuff. Orders. Be wary. Like, I like, mean, like, pretty often. <laughs> let's see what's going on back here at home. So I did lose a couple people, which is great, because that means I can replenish my archer for this guy here. Let's put him right here. This guy's got to stand here. I don't know. I, I haven't used him, so I don't want to bother, like, even trying anything with him yet. Uh, let's see. And last one is increase attack speed of bow attacks. Awesome. We're not the best. I'm actually fully checked up almost, except for the gunship here, which I haven't used, uh, but, like, once. So I'm not going to bother with it just yet. Just have him speed back up. There it is. There it is. Beautiful. That means, you know what that means? That means we're going to get tons of logs now. Tons of logs. They got to split them up, though, because they'll all try to chop into each other here. There you go. I see they all chop the same tree. It's so dumb. There's like a whole forest. <laughs> They're like taking turns on the same damn tree. All right. Okay, so you can do a little bit of harassment over here. Just kind of a little distraction. Pull them up. Then bring these guys over here. Now doing all this without without uh, uh, ballistas. Ballistas do short work of a lot of buildings. So we're going to have these guys just go ham here. A little bit of focus fire, though. Like these damn, like their ballistas, obviously. Get all the range on that. We'll let them just scatter a little bit. These guys will babysit a little. Go after some important buildings. 
<clears throat> Actually, we'll have these guys come over here and take care of these towers here. Oh, he doesn't have the ability. Oh, no, he does. Oh, there's not enough energy. Okay, fine. He'll take care of that building by himself, basically. You go over do that. Or not. <laughs> These damn peons are so quick to getting back on building things. Alright, so this area is a wipe. 100%. We've taken care of yellow. Did they expand? They expanded again, didn't they? Oh my god, they're building a tower over here. What a bunch of chumps. By the way, Fog of War is broken in that respect. You can see them building. Hopefully that's something they, uh, they fix in the future. You're not supposed to see through Fog of War what they're actually building. You'd see it the last thing that you saw. That's how you know this isn't like a code reskin, you know? Like they didn't take the code and reskin it. <laughs> Yellow is done. Except for that one building. Shit. It's annoying. Hello, right. troops are under attack. Alright, so we have a pretty good army still. They're gonna they're gonna uh, get healed up just by while they're hanging out here. My hero is still around. Let's go over here. Let's go on here. Good. That's exactly what I needed. Now this should wipe yellow. Perfect. Okay, go over here. What do we have? We have how much slide we have? 106. Let's go ahead and just build a couple of uh well first let's get this guy suited up here. Let's build some gunships. What is it? Six? Jesus. Alright, let's build two gunships. <laughs> but let's also max out their uh their uh their, their stats there. Alright. Consider it done. I'm not even worried about my teammate. He'll be fine, he'll be fine. Orders. Oh, they're moving though. Look at these guys, they're moving. Lumber Orders. lumber is it's funny, because I have so many people on lumber, but I'm like cranking right through it with right. everything I'm I'm building. Oh, here we go. Hello, troops are under attack. Okay, let's do this. This is a pretty good spot, maybe right here. Do some AoE damage. Let's go attack the uh, the gold line. I should move a little farther down. Say it. Let's see what's a good spot right in here. Actually, some of these guys I could take out at once, maybe. Ah, like none of them. Ah, it sucks. Park of these griffins over here. They'll take care of all those. This is easy, by the way. Don't forget, easy. I know I got a gang of dudes over here. We'll take care of them in a second. Uh, do I have cleanse on? Shit, they're all gonna die because uh, cleanse has not been uh, being triggered. My army's gone. <laughs> Just like that. No, finish off the fight. Finish the damn thing. Finish it. Finish it before we get before they get us. Good. Now run, 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 run. All right, we'll bring them back over here. Let's go under plans to the army real quick. Let's see, what should we bring? Uh, it's a lot of ground forces, isn't it? Let's bring a ton of knights. We just locked a ton of dudes. So let's bring a, like an army of knights. Damn, it's kind of fun. Uh, let's see. So, tell me to stop. There we go. What is that? Uh, ten knights. That sounds awesome. Ten knights, two gunships, and a griffin. Well, a handful of griffins, actually. And uh, they'll be fully loaded, too, which is fucking sweet. Maybe build a couple more for fun. Primed and ready. Primed and ready. Admirable. Uh -huh. I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much maxed out tech-wise. I mean, I, get, I can get this. There you go. All right. <laughs> I don't have any mages on the field right now. Oh, duh. That's not the other thing I should really make a whole lot of is these. But I need gold. And I actually took all my people off gold, didn't I? How about you three gentlemen right here? Actually, you two actually be perfect. Go ahead and give me some gold. Um, I don't necessarily feel like I need to go and expand. I feel like at this point we're kind of wrapping up the episode here because we're going to wipe red and then we're done. But also like what if? <laughs> the what if? What if? Wood is coming in pretty pretty, pretty quickly. We'll be fine. We'll wait. We've already spent that money anyways over here so it's fine. The knights come in. Look at this. What are we doing? Oh, oops. Point right there. Good. Upgrade complete. So these guys are... Uh, Upgrade. Even better. Let's actually have them go down here. Whoops. And ready. Have them go down here and meet up with these dudes. We'll put them all in the same control group. There we go. There we go. Here, one, one cleric. 
as many clerics as I could get, actually, because... And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna disable... I'm gonna have some of them heal and some of them cleanse. Because that was the problem, is that I was getting hit with the green, and the green sticks to you. It's not green on the ground, even though it looks like green on the ground. Uh, the green actually sticks to you. you and so, uh... You need cleanse in order to get rid of it. And so, but the problem what was, of course, wish? they were all set to uh, automatically spend you money on a whole bunch of things, or spend mana on a whole bunch of things, except for that. So, if I disable those and only have cleanse, then that will help uh, 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 curtail some of the, um, uh, some of these standing in the green, right? Uh, gunship. Gunship. I'll make that point right there. Oh, man, these guys are fucked. I could probably just go in with this, but I feel like it's too risky. I just told you guys that it was like, the game was hard, I play on easy, and I'm like doing really well. Maybe it's because I'm getting better. Maybe that's it. Gasp. Let gasp. What's my home? What's the dude over here doing? Just chilling. Just chilling. He's just, he's just, he's the bouncer. He's just gonna sit here and hang out, which is fine. He's doing his thing. We should have a couple more coming this way, flying this way. Just a second. Oh, okay, now it's a little bit slower, isn't it? Nobody coming out of here. Oh, we do. Now, th this is actually going to max me out. Um, yeah, there it is. Not enough food. Construction yard. Can't build the next guy. I can't even build this one. It's actually a pretty light army. Hmm. Look we'll at this hero with us. I, the I think I could get this guy out, or is he going to error out? Okay, cool. That's it. Now, now I'm definitely maxed out here. Cool. Bring him over here. We got a couple of folks joining these guys here, or one guy joining this guy. There we go. All right, this is a pretty air-heavy attack coming up here. Uh, but we do have a, f we have a few. Yeah, we're good. We're good. This is the uh, what is this? The prison strike causes target to bleed, adds small damage on the hit, and then cause damage over time. Okay. Well, you will remember that if we see any big dudes. All right. So first, first, let's fly in. Do a little bit of recon. Move everybody up. On duty. Here we go. All right, tower. Couple towers here. This is their expansion here. This is a, wait, really? That look. Hold up. Is that all they have left? Are you kidding me? They never rebuilt? Oh man! I did all that for nothing. I thought they were rebuilding. You know what? You know why? Because I looked at the map and I, I, I I'm assuming this working like regular fog of war. But it's not, because you can see the buildings. So, I assume that behind that fog of war, they were building. Alright, so that means that there's actually another uh, group here somewhere. Here we go. Take care of them. We have to find the last of them now, which is going to be super fun. Oh, look. <laughs> Tell me that was it. No, no, there's more. Here they come. Where are they coming from? Take care of all these stragglers here. I know there's another base or something over here because they're getting attacked from the lower end here. Unless, unless that's not the case. I must have triggered a rebuild Ready script or something. Because they didn't give a shit about this until I came over there and destroyed that last bit. Hold on, hold on. Let's get this thing straight here. I don't want all of my... There we go. Two of them. One of them healing is fine. Not cleansing and not doing that. Cool. Maintaining. There it is. All right. Here we go. Let's do a little bit of harassment first. Get our guys in. Jesus, a little bit of harassment. Those guys wreck. Wreck. Gee, oh man. Where's the, uh, I know they have a hero unit here somewhere. They always have a hero unit now. I'll just save it for the, save my special attack for that hero unit. Is that it right there? I guess so. There it is. <laughs> we'll snipe it, it's fine. Where did those guys come from? <laughs> what the hell? Are they going like the long way? Hey, look at this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get it, get it a little bit further here. Let's get rid of all these, all these towers first. Blow them up. Nope, go over here. You guys go over here. Beautiful. There we go. Have the gunships focus on the town hall. That cut off their 
economy completely. As it crumbles, now we basically just go through and kill everybody else. And while that's going, I'm gonna lower the volume just a little tiny bit. Because that's pretty much the game, guys. Loria. It is, it is 100% unabashedly, it is a Warcraft 2, uh, clone. Um, they do incorporate a lot of Warcraft 3 elements. And I would actually say, I would actually say, if it, if it had multiplayer, uh, and maybe a few more maps, I would say this is better than Warcraft 2 when it came out. Now, of course it should be. It's 20 years later. God, I hope it would be. Um, but I've tried to go back and play Warcraft 2 a few times using DOSBox, and it's just a pain in the butt. Oh my god, there's more guys here somewhere. Damn it. <sighs> All right. Hold on. I'm just set these guys up on a uh, patrol. Oops. Uh, ow. Patrol over there. Patrol. There we go. Um. Anyways, yeah, I would I would definitely say this is you know this is better than Warcraft 2 because it incorporates those things about Warcraft 3 that I do like about having the hero units and and uh, uh, not necessarily the hero units but having uh, like it's a simplistic hero hero unit system uh, where you just have you know a unit that does those abilities every once in a while and you can level them up. Uh, it's very basic. It still ret retains the same basic uh, 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 controls and everything. On, on the surface, it's like yeah, you could select a whole lot more characters than you can in Warcraft 2. Warcraft 2, you're limited to like nine or something like that uh it was a very small group and warcraft one it was even fewer than that it was like six and nine or maybe it was nine to twelve something like that uh in this game you could you could select upwards of uh, i mean what is it let me see uh one five ten twelve twenty four units something like that twenty units something like that um let's go back you see that i did really awesome i finally i find it was my first time winning a skirmish actually but i had a teammate so obviously that helped um playing on any other difficulty though would have been a totally different story because every time i play this game i played it on normal and I got my ass kicked. But that was a while ago. That was so many hours ago. I'm much better now. Much, much better now. I might be able to uh, to rush some of these dudes and do some work. But that's the game. It is awesome, man. Like, it really is. Like, if you if you are a Warcraft 2 fan, which I know there are not a lot of you. I know that a lot of you started with Warcraft 3. And if you're coming into this game thinking you're getting a Warcraft 3 experience, you're not. There is a fully voiced campaign. It's got cinematics and all that stuff. Not like cinematics, like, you know, the render and all that stuff. Just basically the characters walking up to each other and talking. And it's fully voiced. Uh, the story you may or may not care about, I think it's kind of interesting, it's kind of generic at the same time, it's kind of like, okay, cool, it's got story, cool, let's do it. Uh, but it's pretty, you know, it's, it's, it's low budget, it's indie, okay? Um, I am looking forward to hopefully them putting more stuff in, but as it stands right now, for the price of, what, $18.99 or whatever it is, uh, it is totally worth that. Totally worth that. I would have, again, if somebody sent me the link and was like, hey, Mike Mia, I never heard you like Warcraft 2, check this out, I'd have been like, boom, bye. I actually already bought this game for two other people. That's how much I like it. <laughs> so, so I think it is a faithful, a faithful, uh, uh, basically look back at uh, at RT early, early RTS, um, and uh, and yeah, I'm looking for. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna complete the uh, the order campaign, and I'll probably go back and play the chaos campaign. Hopefully, I'm a little bit better. Uh, I imagine units and all that stuff, and I'll be able to play them a little better. And I hope, I hope, hope, hope that the game gets enough uh, popularity that they're actually able to go through and um, and put in uh, uh, multiplayer and all that stuff. Because they do say it's something they're interested in doing. Multiplayer is really the make it or break it for this game. It really, truly, truly is in the long run. Uh, once you complete the campaigns and you, and you go through the skirmish right here, the skirmish you go through here, uh, and it's like you know whatever you know, lava river, valley map, all that good stuff. You only have five maps. Um, you have to, after you're done with those. You know, obviously you could play them over and over again. And I'll tell you, before before they had Battle.net, <laughs> this is how old I am, okay? <laughs> back before Battle.net, and I mean the original Battle.net, where they first introduced back in War with Warcraft 2 that allowed you to actually get on and play with like a hub-based system uh, and get like, lo get, yeah, a lobby and you could play with other players and all that stuff. Before that, we had to dial, dial in directly to other players in order to play just them. And you couldn't play anybody else. Or you got to use like a BBS system or log in and play other players. It was a huge pain in the ass. So what I did most of the time was, I mean, I played players once Battle.net came out and that was awesome. But before that, I played a shitload of just AI. I would just be like, you know what? I'm just gonna have basically all the AI be on team two and I'm gonna go in as team one and I'm gonna try to see how long I can last. And like, that's how I scale the difficulty for me playing uh playing by myself basically uh with the with the skirmish um uh, uh mode in warcraft 2. 
And it worked. It totally worked. I enjoyed it uh, immensely. And uh, with this, it does the exact same thing. So if I want to challenge myself, if I get that good, if, first of all, if I get that good at this game, I'll probably switch to a game that people actually play, like StarCraft 2. And then you'll see me taking on Serral at the next, the next StarCraft 2 World Championship Series at BlizzCon. That's right. That's it, guys. My name is Mike B. This game's called Loria. Get it right now on Steam for $18.99. Thank you so much for watching. I know this is a long one, but I appreciate it very, very much. I will see you guys later. Bye!